hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I hope you've subscribed as well or I'll be coming to pay you a visit. <laughs> I'm Peter Fury and uh, don't forget to subscribe to Porky's Corner because I've been a helmet of the month and you need to listen to me. <laughs> yeah? So follow him, yeah? And get the fella some followers up for Christ's sake. He wears his hat on his sleeve, the good man was. So follow Porky's Corner, he says it as it is and uh, you know, I appreciate the helmet of the month, Russ. No problem. No problem, thank you very much. Hello people, I'm Dave Courtney and you're watching Porky's Corner. The voice of hardcore boxing. Now watch it. Can I just give everybody a big shout out who's uh, shared the videos, the Weapon of the Week videos, the last few months, because the, the what people are watching longer and they're watching more. So thank you very much for sharing them on your WhatsApp videos. All right, peace out. Hello all you hardcores out there, how are you doing? It's Russ here from Porky's Corner, the voice of hardcore boxing. But then again you already know that, don't you? Because that's why you've tuned in. So we say the things nobody dares say, isn't that right? The curious case of Big Meech. He's Big Meech, a.k.a. Anthony Joshua. Is he a big dosser? Well, he's an Olympic gold medalist, isn't he? Who won four fights at the Olympics, but really, he only won one, didn't he? He only beat the Chinaman, and he won't much cop, was he? What I want to know is this. Anthony Joshua and Eddie Hearn they preach about what's right and what's wrong and what's good and what's evil and what's bad in life and positivity and they don't want negativity and all that I can understand all that but why would you say all them things and then be looking to put a fight on in Saudi Arabia where, they, where they've done all them bad things, human rights things of it, years and that. Why all of a sudden now, can you just go out there and front it out in interviews and be talking about why you've got to go to Saudi and you've got to do the best with fighters and all that. You don't care about fighters, Eddie. You're the only person you'll care about is yourself. We don't care about anybody else. I don't know, I mean, could you imagine? Big Meech versus Usek rematch in Saudi. They could have every bridges on, couldn't they, as chief support? Can you imagine that? Normally, women have to walk 50 yards behind husband. Don't live down the street, eh? I don't know, it's going to be interesting to see what happens, isn't it, moving forward. If they go out there to fight in Saudi, in my opinion, it's in bad taste, but we're talking about boxing here, aren't we? We're not talking about tennis, are we? You play tennis, don't you? Like badminton, you play at badminton. You play snooker, let's have a game of snooker. Let's have a game of football. And playing football, you tell your man one year, come for your tea, Russell, I'm playing football, ma'am. Okay, I'll see you later. They think this man won't step to him for action. Come and try me. That goes out to any man in the world. Any of you, win, lose, or draw. Do you know you gotta do? To engage with the fury is put them up because this fury is ready. Yes, bloody hell, sweat here. <sighs>
boiling, baking, roasting. Oh, it's like a sauna, furnace. Oh, left a bit, darling. You can fry an egg on my stomach. They wouldn't lap this up. Fabulous. Fantastic. Fan dabby dozy tastic. <laughs> you don't play at boxing, do you? You don't say let's play boxing. Because you're getting punched in the head, aren't you? And heads are not designed to be knocked about, are they? So that's why fighters have to get as much money as, as much money as they can. I understand all that. But when you're trying to get as much money as you can, and you're pushing boundaries trying to get that money. These are bad taste in my mouth. How can you go out to a country like Saudi and take their money off them? I don't get that. I don't get that. If there were an injustice to Eddie Earn and his dad, they'd be screaming blow murder. We all saw what happened with West Ham United, didn't they? The dad didn't think that were right, did he? And that was just because they were playing football a little bit further up road from Leighton. We're not talking about throwing bodies off buildings because they're gay. Or torturing people and cutting arms and legs off and stuff like that. And ethnic cleansing and genocide. We're just talking about somebody playing a bit of football up road in a different stadium. That got Barry Earns being his bonnet, didn't it? But this uh, human rights and all these wrongdoings that are going on in Saudi, that doesn't seem to bring out the same energy in Barry Hearn, does it? For what's right. Am I right, Barry? Google Barry Hearn, West Ham United government court case. It's all on YouTube. And you'll see what Barry Hearn has to say about what's right in the world. And we should do this because... Because that's right and that's morally wrong, that. But yet you're about to take millions from Saudi again. Isn't that morally wrong? What happened to the energy that you used to have about Leighton Orient and what was morally right and West Ham and you can't play football there, it's going to upset our crowd and the generations and generations and all that. That was all about morals, wasn't it? Her and family. I don't see that same energy. For this Saudi carry on. That's all I wanted to say on the matter. Anthony Joshua, 14 September, he issued the rematch clause. He triggered the rematch clause on October the 8th. We're now 14th of April, 14th of April. So we're uh, six months and six days with that rematch triggered and we still haven't got a fucking day so what's going on Eddie Earn? eh? all right okie dokie peace out keep on trucking keep supporting boxing i think it's time to uh for a game of snooker okie dokie peace out Big shout out oh, to my mate Frank in Berry. Hope you well, Frank. Hope you well. And uh, big shout out to Savannah. Well done, Savannah. Will you win? And we get Shields fight. All right. Booyaka. Come on then, let's go. See you tomorrow. Two out of two, so let's go for three out of three. Let's go for three out of three. Ah, oh, 
I missed it. Oh well. Let's go for three out of four. Get in. Three out of four. Let's go for four out of five. Batteries not going in. What makes this shot is here, the side on it kicks back here. This is called reverse side. Ready? Go on. Go on. Go on. There you go. What it does, it kicks it back and it makes the bed go into a straight line. It's hard to explain really, but once the side kicks it back, the red, the blue stays around about where they hit it, but the red comes over here towards the pocket and you get two bikes at Cherry. You get this bag here and you get that bag there and I'm going in bottom bag. So don't try this at home, uh, Rammy. Alright, my, my pal from Sheffield, you're feeling well, mate. Opposite end of the spectrum now. Right, ready? <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> it's uh, well we've got red in that bag blowing this one it's uh, over end of the table job but uh, it is what it is isn't it just to let you know Dave Caldwell that these allegations are not going to go away this is just the beginning so I think you need to come out and do an interview I mean any other time we can't get you off IFL behind the gloves seconds out boxing social fight i we can't get you off youtube so you need to come out and answer these allegations you're more than welcome to come on porky's corner you can do it by zoom you don't have to do it in your gym you can do it by zoom and i'll ask you these questions from these lads all right and then once you've answered them then i'm going to play a card that i've got up my sleeve and put this to bed all right so come out come out wherever you are pop pop bang on the floor end of give me them belts back where you stole them you bum and that's it <laughs> you like that one didn't you right first of all i just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing means a lot to me because uh, we're on this journey together aren't we so anybody got any ideas for the channel fire them over to me porkycorner at mail.com all right shout out to innovation alloys and south yorkshire packaging all right don't forget to subscribe keep on trucking <laughs>